This video is for the seventh grade um, website project assignment two in text citations. First, you're going to go to weebly.com and then you'll click on login in the top right corner. And from here, you'll click on G plus login. Next, what you're going to do is um, if it pops up with a white window, you'll just click on the X in the top left corner and then you'll click on edit site. All right, and it's just gonna take a moment to load. All right, so um, anyway, what you're going to do from this point is you're going to click on um, pages and you're going to be adding another page. So there's already gonna be an about page and a contact page. We're just gonna click on the about page and we're actually gonna change the name of it. Um, and so what you'll do is you'll name it um, whatever your first social media topic is. So for example, I'm naming mine Snapchat. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll click on build to be able to actually build the page. So from here, what I would do is I would click and drag the title box to appear in the blank space. So I'll just click and drag that title box. And then we're going to um, just type in the word Snapchat. Um, and actually it's a little difficult to see, but we're going to just go ahead, put in that title box. And unfortunately, it's not really working right now, so I think we're just going to have to reload the page. Okay. All right, there it is. <laughs> unfortunately, it kind of messed up a little um, earlier. So anyway, there's that title that we dragged in that it wasn't showing before. So anyway, you'll click... Um, in here and you'll type in the title of your first topic. Um, next what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag a text box to go underneath that title. So just like this. Um, and then you'll click where it says click here to edit. And basically what you want to do is you want to um, go and open up your work from last class. So um, you want to go into Google Drive and you want to then open up the um, copy of Finding Reliable Websites Social Media Project um, because that's going to give you the two websites that you used for your research. So anyway, I would just go ahead and scroll down. And then I would go to my first website, which um, happened to be the Snapchat website. So I'd click on it once and then click on the blue link that appears underneath it. Um, and so that way I can start to get some information about Snapchat from that particular website. Anyway, just to show you what you want to do is um, basically you want to have um, a couple of either one short paragraph or two short paragraphs um, that tell a bit about what you learned about that particular app. So um, for example, we've got this paragraph here. Anytime you borrow an idea from somebody else, you have to tell the author's name and the year in parentheses. So anyway, you want to include um, just a short little paragraph or two um, about your topic. And once again, take a look at where I'm pointing. Anytime you borrow an idea, put the author's name and the year. Anyway, um, so then what you're going to be doing is once you actually have that paragraph, so, um, Here's my paragraph. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, hit enter on my keyboard a couple times, and then I'm going to hit the underline button, and I'm gonna type in the word tips. So we're gonna give some tips to people who are viewing our website. Then you're going to click on the U to un underline, and then you'll hit enter. And from here, what you'll do is you'll click on the bulleted list button, which looks like three dots and three lines. And then what you want to do is um, type in a tip. So, for example, something like always remember that people can screenshot your posts. Um, and depending on what topic you're doing, you might have a different tip. Um, and then hit enter one more time, and you're going to do a second tip. Um, and so, for example, I could say screenshots can be taken without you knowing. And then 
you're going to repeat the same thing for your second website. Um, so in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to click back on pages. And then this time we're gonna click on the contact page and we're gonna change the name to whatever our second topic is. So for example, mine is kick. So then I would type in kick and then click on build. Um, we'll do the same thing that we did for our Snapchat page where we're gonna click and drag a title um, down here in the blank space. And from there, what we'll do, and it's unfortunately not showing up again, so I'm just gonna reload the page. So then you'll just go ahead and type in the title up at the top. And we'll just have to give it a minute to load. Okay, um, so then we'll just go ahead and type the title and then you'll click and drag a text box to appear underneath the title. And um, once again, in that text box, what you wanna do is you want to have, um, you know, a short paragraph or two um, about that particular app or topic. And once again, you wanna make sure any borrowed ideas, the author's name and the year. Also, um, if you don't put the author's name in the beginning of the sentence, you can also do it this way where you have um, the author's name and the year in parentheses. So anyway, once you have that information about your topic, um, what you're going to do is you're gonna do the same thing you did before. Um, so you're going to put in some tips. So here's our couple of paragraphs. You're just gonna hit enter a couple times, click the U, and then type in the word tips. Click the U again to get rid of the underline. Then you'll hit enter and then click on the bulleted list button. Um, and you might say something like, remember that you need a parent's permission. And every app or every topic is gonna to be different, so make sure you don't copy these exactly. Um, but anyway, then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and hit enter one more time and add in a second tip. Um, and so for example, this is only for 17 years and older. And then you just want to make sure everything ends with a period and that's it.